My name is Kevin. Today is November 29th. We're here at the Boston Planning and Development Agency's um, city planning meeting for uh, Glover's Corner. And we're here with community residents and a group of organizations that have come together to um, do an action um, in response to their planning process. We're really just concerned with the way this process has gone down so far. And so we're asking for a six month stop to that process and a real community process that involves residents, residents that are gonna be impacted as development comes. And we're not against development, but we just wanna make sure that development is happens without displacement and in a way that really, you know, maintains the small businesses, the jobs, the the livelihood of the residents, the mostly immigrants, folks of color, working class folks in the neighborhood. Cambodian, Nam Mỹ và tiếng nói của chúng tôi không ở trong phòng này. Chúng tôi um, đã có một cuộc họp với DPDA lá thờ và người ta không có trả lời chúng ta. Chúng tôi chúng tôi muốn chậm lại cái ngợi um, trình này cho 6 tháng và cho kế hoạch cộng đồng học với chúng tôi tham gia với hình dung tương lai của Dorchester. My name is Tran and I'm a resident of Dorchester. I'm here today with many voices and people in the community that are feeling left out of this planning process. We represent the Vietnamese, Cambodia, Latino, and working class of our neighborhood and, and many areas of Glover's Corner. We had a meeting with the VPDA about the importance of development without displacement and the need to slow down this planning process. We want a six-month moratorium and this planning process to have more time to engage and learn about the future of Dorchester together. My name is Cindy and I am a resident of Dorchester and I'm here today with many voices of the community that are feeling completely left out of this process. I live on Wells and I'm concerned that the housing costs in Dorchester is forcing residents out and this plan does not address the real income levels of the many families and affordable housing options for the families who live here and want to remain as residents of Dorchester. We want and need development without displacement. Good evening everyone, my name is Mimi, I'm a Dorchester resident and I'm here because I really am concerned about where this planning process is leaving the voices of our residents out. We're here because we care about the voice of our neighborhoods for them to be at the table around the economic opportunities that this planning process will bring around good jobs. It's not just about the construction and good jobs coming in, but who's going to gain access to the good and permanent jobs for our community. We want to make sure that our neighborhood is strong and can take place with us in the community around this opportunity. So we hope that you can stand with us. Maria. Ellos pagaron el micrófono, so tú tienes que hablar un poquito harto, ¿ok? Yes. This is Maria, everyone. ¿Puede decir su parte? Sí, sí, señor, y te repito. Sí, ok, pero tiene que hablar un poquito alto para que la comunidad pueda oír. Yeah. Ok, mi amor. Buenas tardes, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Could you turn it on? Buenas tardes, everybody. I came here to say that I'm paying too much as far as rent is concerned and I have a, my family have a problem with that rent. Yes, then it's program I am in this, I mean, the, take, taking part in this meeting tudo. so that the, the whole community can be served because me. I want benefits for me, me. I don't know, I don't know where I go, I work, rent. all that I do is to pay rent, I don't have money for more. I don't video. have money to eat and either feed my son. Um coitado está pagando dois mil e tal dólares de renda. I pay almost two thousand dollars as a rent. Um creio ajuda para não ajudar. I need you to help me. Para o dia que você quinta parte, para morrer que tem um de bem e me cunha filho. To see how to resolve the issue because I don't have where to go with my son. E 
casa que mora é Sra. Mas a partir de a partir de contrato é 2300. The row, the house where I'm currently living, they're saying that starting from the time of the new contract, we're going to pay be paying $2300. Yeah, and creo ajuda and que compartilha nesse mirim I need help de and I want to share with the community. Dava trabalho. I go to work. Bem, I come home. Da da seguir mirim de comunidade. And I, I come to the meetings, the community meetings. Yeah. And that's what I would like to share. É isso. With Thank you very much. Thank you. Please give us back our mic, please, please, please give us back our mic, we're not done yet. Let's have our peace. So, please, um, if you, we are wanted to say again that we're here as Dorchester residents. We care about this community, we want to stay in this neighborhood, and it isn't that we don't want development, but what it is is that we don't want development that threatens to displace the community that is here now. Like, if you take, take a moment and look around, if you look around the room right now, for those of you who are, who are sitting, just take a look. Take a look at how many empty chairs are there, and take a look at how many community residents from this Dorchester neighborhood who are here, who have been impacted by the displacement or are worried about that because they set roots here, they built families here, they have community here. And so it's not to say that we don't want it, but it's to say that we don't want it if it threatens the fact that we might get displaced. And so we really want the BPDA and the city to listen to this community, to listen to Dorchester residents who have lived here, some of us for all our lives, and really take our knowledge and our lived experiences as something that is to be valued and to be recognized and to be cared about. If you really care about Dorchester, you'll really listen to the folks who are standing in this room and the folks who are standing up here now. So let us just repeat. We have been coming together as one community under one Dorchester because we care about our neighborhood. We care about the future and the direction that Dorchester takes. And let's be clear, we don't want to just come to meetings so that you have our names and information on a sign-in sheet. We want a real process. We want real decisions. And because it is our community. We are here as tenants, homeowners, landlords, youth, seniors, we come from all walks of life and we deserve a seat at the table, a real authentic seat at the table. We sent the BPDA a letter, no response. We had a meeting with you, no response. We've asked for data so that we can make informed decisions as a group. We haven't heard back from you. So we are not here coming out in force as a community not having attempted to have a conversation. But we are serious and you will respect the voices of our neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming. And thank you for participating um, in this. And we understand what you're saying. My name is Lara Morita. I'm Deputy Director for Community Planning at the BPDA. Um, I think we're here all for the same reason, and I know workshops are tough, and I know workshops don't always uh, reach out to every community. We've had these conversations, um, and I know that we are still working to get data to you. Data is, is collecting it, and we're still in those conversations. We haven't had conversations yet about what are we looking for in this new opportunity in this space where it may be converted into another use. So I think what we need to do is have those conversations together, and we're all at the table. We have the same goal of wanting to make sure we're making a, an equitable neighborhood that's right for everyone and has, gives people choices. So I think what tonight we're here talking about is transportation, which is the number one choice we need to talk about because it's been talked about quite a bit in these conversations. We want to make sure, as Vineet had said earlier, what are our choices for transportation? 
Can I also ask that our interpreters are working, that we're paying, could be also to interpreting what I'm saying to the people who are here? Sorry. Can I also ask that our interpreters are working, that we're paying, could be also to interpreting what I'm saying to the people who are here? Thank you. Um, our other interpreter? Yeah, he's in the back. Okay, thank you. Okay, I just want to make sure that you know, if, if interpretation is needed, that we're using it. Um, so I think what we'd like to do tonight is, we haven't talked about what the house I'm sorry, I'm going to be very honest with you. Thank you. We've sent a letter. We're here right. because we believe in development without displacement. My voice is not being heard here. And I believe in development without displacement too. It is one of my biggest fears, is displacement. So. We're with the Dorchester Not For Sale working group of residents in Dorchester Fields Corner. And we had our pub first public action at their monthly BPDA meeting on transportation this month. Um, it was very empowering. We, we've been meeting for, for weeks and try to get residents from all over, you know, Dorchester inclusive, Vietnamese, Cape Verdean, Latinos, working class. We just had our first big action. It was super exciting because we were trying to, you know, figure out the right timing, making sure every we had our, you know, we had the opportunity to talk and say our piece about how this process hasn't been inclusive. And so we want to be, you know, at the table, we want real decision-making power. And this was just, you know, a really amazing opportunity to be able to showcase that and really empower our people and our, our residents right in Dorchester. More than half the residents of Boston can't afford to live here anymore. People are being pushed out and nobody's paying attention to how do people have enough income that they can stay. And especially in a neighborhood like this that's very diverse, people speak a lot of languages, you have to, you have to make it happen as a choice and it's not getting structured into the plan. So standing up seemed an important thing to do. I'm personally, I'm, I'm bothered by events like this that happen in our community because too many times we sit and see this same scenario reacted in our community. Developers come in our community, gobble up property, land and everything, and then they come with plans what to do, but they act like they want our opinion about it. Well, they're, they're not really looking for our opinion. They already got their plans to do what they wanted to do. They just want us to be able to say that we came to your community and discussed this with you, but it ain't working. I agree with what you two just said. I'm very disappointed that it doesn't seem that community involvement is really the priority, that um, we seem to just be here to be a, a stamp of approval for them to say, oh, folks showed up um, and listened and were there, but we didn't have real decision-making power input. We didn't get to decide for ourselves and our community, for our diverse neighborhood, what we want to look like. And the fact of the matter is, a lot of people in Boston are being left behind. Folks, again, cannot afford to live here. They're being pushed out. They're being neglected and forgotten. And not only do we have cuts all the time in human and public services and social programs, but then housing, just by the nature of its cost, is saying, you're not welcome here. You need to leave. Uh, this neighborhood is no longer for you. And I reject that. I'm proud of Dorchester. I'm proud to be a resident of Dorchester, to have been raised here and to grow up here and live here. I lived in Dorchester for 45 years, or most of my adult life. Moved into Codman Square um, 45 years ago when I was um, teaching in Boston. 
and um, I wanted to live in the neighborhood where my students were. And uh, at that time, I could afford to buy a house with a group of friends and then later to rent an apartment for many years uh, at very low rent because that was before everything started getting more expensive. And I um, had the good fortune to be able to buy a house with my partner before it got unaffordable for a very low price. I am just horrified at how high the housing costs are going. I feel a number of things. I mean, first and, and, and foremost, I feel uh, I feel love and solidarity with my community, and um, that that we were willing to be bold together, um, to stand together to say um, this process isn't okay. What happens? You know, what's happening in our neighborhoods? What's going to happen? And and this this process that the Bl the Boston Planning and Displacement Agency is doing um, is not representative representative of a true community process um, and uh, I, I, I feel both um, frustrated, angry at what's happening, but, but really I feel uh, really joy and um, love for my community um, and to, to stand together to do that. It takes courage um, and we're willing to fight together for what we want and need in our community.